Can you also talk about uh, when we look at modern organizations? Uh, I mean, we have had a discussion earlier where, you know, sometimes organizations are some of, of course, we ahead in journey, some are very early stages. Uh, how much adoption of observability practices you are seeing when you look at your own customers? How much awareness is that? And when you talk to them, do you have to explain it to them the importance of observability or you feel that they do understand, but because of some challenges, they are not embracing it? Well, first of all, the consciousness about uh, you know, observability is already there. It depends on it depends on who you talk to. So our clients are usually very large. So they they often have a platform team, and the platform team's uh, you know um, mission is to find platform technologies uh, that are suitable to to uh, you know provide them to application teams. So they make a pre selection, so to say. And in, in their minds, observability is, is usually, uh, you know, very, very important because they know that they're going to have the operational responsibility for, for platform environments with a lot of different applications. So, for example, if you are on a, an on-premise vSphere installation or OpenStack installation, then the probability that you have issues with your network is, you know, higher than, for example, being at a, in the data center of a hyperscaler. If you have more probabilities of pro having problems in the network, and if you, if you know networking a bit, let's say you have a network segmentation or something like that, that could break a lot of databases running in your environment. So you need to have awareness of those things and you need to be prepared for it. So that would be something that um, our platform teams would be concerned about. And, and they would try to find products that have and provide observability in that, in, in that sense that they, first of all, um, that would be, let's say, a platform environment Prometheus, just to use Prometheus as one of the ways of, of, of observing, you know, uh, cloud resources over time. So they would have their, their own Prometheus for the platform environment. Now, in that platform environment, there will be, let's say, 100, 100 different application developer teams. Now, each application developer team may own application systems, distributed systems comprised of several microservices, several data services. And what they want is they don't care so much about, let's say, cluster-wide or environment-wide network segmentations. They, could, they, they care about their own application systems because that's where they, where they are held accountable for. So they will want to look at their own application. They want to look at and tracing, uh, you know, a, a problem that comes from that microservice and then goes to that microservice because it's in the path of a use case. And there's a, a database involved with that microservice and a different database involved here. So how can you, how can you make, you know, how can you look at a one request through the system when it touches this four or five different services? And obviously, this is something application developers have to learn. If they start distributing things, they start to distribute their debugging. So they need to do, you know, they, they need to start logging data in a way that later you can trace it. And that's where developer best practices meet, um, you know, also modern technologies such as open tracing or, or also uh, data services like, uh, like open search or LogMe or Prometheus. So it's, it's, from that perspective, a very different aspect. And what we often see is that every application team has their own LogMe, has their own Prometheus instance, and tweaks it to their, um, to their particular requirements to ensure that they carry out their responsibilities in the best possible way. 